Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for November 1st, 2021. My love to each and every one of you out there and especially all of your loved ones on the other side on this day of the dead. Now, as we get going here, I should explain my face. My nose is red. Everything's mad at me on my face. <laughs> what is the allergen around in, in North America, I'm in Colorado in fall? Is it ragweed? Because I don't think we're friends, okay? I don't think we are. This might be my face for all of fall. I'm sorry. If you like a personal reading with me, well, you won't have to look at my face because I will send you an MP3. <laughs> Just go to Angel Souls. Oh, forget it. I, I almost dropped the whole deck. Angel Souls. 444.com. I can do an Akashic Records reading for you or an angelic message reading. If you set yourself up, you can actually feel your guardian angels come through, or if you want to work with an archangel, we can bring that archangel through as well, as well as Akashic Records readings. Those are really eye-opening to help you release patterns or to help you see things in a different light. Okay. And of course, the Gumroad uh, meditation challenges. What is happening? Cards are going everywhere. It's a very sensitive day, right? <laughs> Go to gumroad.com uh, slash angel souls for the archangel meditation challenges. Check those out. Uh, people are loving those. So this is your life's purpose. Big epiphany today. The lights are on. You're looking around. You said this place is a mess. Okay, but at least I know it's a mess. Now I can do something about it. And now you free up your energy and you get going on your path. So this says, Archangel Michael, you know the details of my divine life purpose, and I ask you to help me be aligned with my goals. Please clearly guide my actions so that I am taking the best steps to fully manifest my wonderful and meaningful career. It's not just career, okay? Life's path and purpose is the range of emotions you experience, you know, how you experience being human. So please... Don't think that you're not on your path just because maybe you're unemployed right now. That's okay. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. But definitely there's some clarity and insight coming through about what will make you happy and how you can have stability in your life. How can you express in this world? Okay. And uh, service is changing. Service is changing. So there's a sense here that the kind, for some of you, the kind of work that you used to do, it just doesn't fit anymore. Now, uh, nose break. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I don't even know what the heck I was saying. Oh, uh, anyway, <laughs> you might have to change, um, you know, how, how you do your work. And I think I was getting ready to say, uh, when I first started Angel Souls, um, we were in a very different time and people were in a very different place, spiritually speaking. Um, it was very about, much about, you know, the spiritual high from experiencing your first spiritual encounter. Um, it was very much uh, spiritual sidestepping, uh, good vibes only, which we realized very quickly was very harmful, a very, very harmful thing, especially for anybody who was at the center of collective abuse. All right. So that these toxic statements of what's the common denominator, you're just participating in the abuse potentially for someone who might be the scapegoat of their family or otherwise, or in the workplace or something like that. You're just participating in that. So we started getting a little smarter. And, uh, you know, I, <laughs> I always had a problem with that stuff. But I was like, but if I don't go along with it, I'm going to get attacked. And that was a very true thing. That was the other thing that was going on back then. People were very spiritually defensive. If you don't believe the way I do, you know, it's like how everybody fights over religion. It was still that, not that that got cured, but you know, we ha I had to change how I approached my work. And it was really, really scary to sit in front of a camera and start speaking more authentically and saying what I really mean and putting my opinions out there. Because again, everybody will attack you. If you don't think the way I do, then you are my enemy, you know, doing all of that. And it went, I went through a very, very rough time of having people unsubscribe because that's the way people punish you is by unsubscribing, <laughs> right? Um, you know, doing all that whole thing. And yet I was in much more of a flow because I was more in touch with my truth and therefore my purpose by just saying what I had to say. Does that make sense? So I went from feeling like I had to follow everybody else's rules to kind of creating my own and just running with it from that standpoint. So I think this is part of that energy for today. Check into it for yourself. How do you need to shift how you do your work? Or do you want to show up in a completely different way? 
where is your soul's contract chapter ending and beginning. Okay, so we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.